Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by VideoProc. With VideoProc, you can edit, cut, convert, and merge 4K videos in Flash, reducing video size to save storage and full processing any video by using full CPU acceleration. It also features an easy-to-use desktop and iOS screen recorder. You can check out their Christmas events. Links will be in the description where you have a chance to win many prizes, including a Google Home. So check them out. VideoProc links in the description down below. Hey, what's up, guys? I do myself here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I have have my weekly follow-up on iOS 13.3. The software has been out for a little over a week, and as I usually like to do, I like to come back a week later and share with you guys my thoughts on the software, any additional new features and changes, battery, performance, etc. In these videos, I also talk about my YouTube community poll where you guys have an input on how the software has been performing for you, and we'll get to that here in a few seconds. First, I want to talk about performance. Now, in regards to 3D Touch, the App Switcher Control Center, Everything else is working just fine in that department. However, launching third-party applications, and I've noticed this more often over the past several days, things like Instagram, Twitter, WhatsApp, these applications tend to freeze and do not launch with iOS 13.3. Now, I thought this would be an issue with the actual applications, but it's happening with more apps, so it looks like it's an iOS uh, app issue or launching issue rather than an application issue. If it was only one app, I would say it's the actual app, but it's just happening with more than one application. Now, in regards to battery health, I know a lot of you guys have a lot of concern in regards to battery health and the battery of the iPhone on iOS 13.3. I do have my full battery test. Links will be in the description for this software. However, on the iPhone 11 Pro Max, my daily device, my battery health has dropped 3% from 100 to 97%. Now I'm using the Apple Smart Battery Case. I do not know if this is part of the issue because this battery case is constantly sending power to the device and I'm not sure if that is causing damage to the battery and the battery health of my iPhone, but it has dropped a 3% ever since I updated to iOS 13.3, which is the same time I bought this case as well. In regards to battery performance, I do get all day battery life on the iPhone 11 Pro Max with or without the case. Now, another minor issue that I continue to have with iOS 13.3 is announce some messages with Siri. Sometimes I turn this off, but the messages continue to come in on the AirPods Pro. So that's something that Apple needs to address only when I toggle this on using the control center toggle it actually doesn't work properly so this toggle right here now let's head on over to YouTube and talk about the YouTube community poll so this is where you guys also have some input these YouTube community polls are posted weekly you can come back every time a new beta or new software is released express your thoughts and also vote so far we have 7,300 votes this was posted five days ago so a 57% of you guys are having a great experience so far okay but still some bugs 19% that's where I stand because I still have minor bugs with announced messages with Siri as I mentioned as well as app launching issues now a bad experience 5% and an 18% of you guys that voted are not even running iOS 13.3 and I recommend staying on 13.2.3 right now the battery is better and the performance is actually better now let's head on over to some of the comments here one of the most popular comments, I haven't encountered any bugs on the iPhone SE, battery life is actually really great. The only device that actually performed well on the battery performance test, spoiler alert, is the iPhone SE. But the optimized battery charging feature isn't working. Uh, now, a lot of people complain about the optimized battery charging feature not working, and this feature is under the battery settings right here. You can activate this setting by going to battery health and turning on the optimized battery charging, which is on by default. In case it isn't on, go ahead and turn it on. But this feature allows to charge the iPhone up to 80% and then charge the extra 20% right before you wake up. So it sort of learns your pattern on how you charge. So if you don't have the same charging patterns every day, pretty much it will not work properly for you. Now, iPhone 7 Plus battery problems. As you see here, the trend continues with the battery performance issues. Right here, another comment with actually 10 likes. Another, bro, battery life is not good. iOS 12 had far better battery life. You see here that battery I drained fast on the iPhone 7, the iPhone 7 Plus. This trend continues. Battery issues is the number one concern. So if you're not running 13.3, stay away until iOS 13.3.1. Hopefully the issues will be resolved in the future in regards to battery. And this is my weekly follow-up. I hope you guys enjoy this follow-up video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.